guys, it's Ashley and I'm back with another tutorial, finally! So today I just wanted to do something super simple and spring appropriate because we are officially in the full swing of spring. Actually, well, according to Florida, we're just in full on summer. So this is kind of like just a fresh face that I have been rocking with for work or just like on a daily basis when I don't really want to fuss a lot. I've already cleaned my face and I've moisturized and I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish. This is just a deluxe sample size that I'm trying to use up in my collection. If you watched my last update video, I talked about how I wanted to start a series talking about a makeup diet and that's just because I have been going through my collection and seeing so many things that I haven't even used or touched in so long and it's just going to waste. And you spend all this money on makeup, why do you want it to go to waste? So yeah, plus I need to curb my spending, it's gotten really out of hand. Please excuse my nails, they look completely ratchet. And I have a couple of spots. Yay for hormones. <laughs> While I'm at the priming stage, I'm going to go ahead and also prime my eyelids. I'm going to be using the NARS Pro Prime for eyes. Primer is super important because as the weather gets warmer, your makeup may have a tendency to want to slide off your face or move or crease. So when you use a primer, it helps all that. Doing something different today, I want to work with a pigment. I have not worked with pigments in so long. So I pulled this one out of my collection. It's by MAC and it is called Kitschmas. Just a really pretty, like pearlescent, very light lilac y pink. I'm going to spray the brush first with some MAC Fix Plus. This is going to help the pigment adhere to the brush and stick on my eyes. When you're working with a pigment, I always say to use whatever is in the lid. So just use a teeny tiny bit and to put on your foundation after, just in case there's any fallout. Little tip. The only thing that I do with the pigment is I never swipe. I just take the brush and I just lightly pat it onto my eyelid. Look at this, in a stamping motion. The thing that I really love about pigments is that you can control the intensity by using them wet or dry. I'm gonna keep this super simple, guys. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of time in the morning to fuss with makeup, so I'm just going to be taking my Naked Basics palette next and using the color Naked 2, which is this light brown here, and a blending brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of that into my crease. You recording? Oh, I was about to say I was going springtime or summer even and if it's super humid where you live or really warm or you know you're going to be outside for any extended period of time you don't want a cake face you don't want heavy foundation you want your skin to still be able to breathe a little bit so i have been in love with water-based foundations bb creams and tinted moisturizers my go-to lately has been chanel vital lumiere aqua this is amazing it's so lightweight but the coverage is fantastic you can still see my freckles which kind of been too lately but it really evens out my skin tone and it just really makes me have a healthy glow and yes you guessed it I'm gonna use my real techniques I always forget what it's called expert face brush By the way, I am in the shade 30 Beige in the Chanel foundation. My newest obsession with concealer, and it takes a lot for me to become obsessed with the concealer, but it is the MAC Pro Longwear. Oh my god! The consistency is just perfection. The coverage is amazing. Yeah. The only downside is that this little pump gives you way more than you need, but, you know, what are you going to do? At this point, you can choose to leave it like this or blend it in. <laughs> blend that shit. Oh, and because I suck, I forgot to tell you what shade I'm in. This is NW20. <laughs> I'm so slacking. Can you tell it's been a long time since I filled a bit? Fin <laughs> Filmed. 
video. I need freaking Rosetta Stone. Just to speak English. Ugh. I'm going to let everything set on my face and I'm going to go back to eyes now. I'm going to be taking my MAC uh, Cold Pencil in the shade Feline and I'm just going to tight line my eyes. Going back in with the Naked Basics palette, I'm going to use the color WOS and I'm just going to use it as a brow bone highlight. I'm going to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in shade number Uno. Go in with my Laura Mercier Foundation Powder that I'm trying to use up that I got as gratis from work a while ago and this is in the shade number 3. To add some color back into this piled face, I'm going to be using the Hibiscus Kiss Blush and Bronzer Duo from the Riri Hearts MAC collection. Any bronzer will do. A Chanel angled brush, this is number 10. I've been keeping contour pretty light, but just enough to where it looks like I have a bone structure and it looks like I have some color. If you're an NW30 or an NC30 or lighter in MAC, I think that this bronzer is perfect for you. To use something a little brighter for a pop of color on the cheeks, but still without looking like way too overdone, I'm going to be using MAC's Love Cloud Blush, using a Chanel powder brush, or blush, br <laughs> using a Chanel blush brush, say that five times straight. It's at number seven. I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. I'm gonna go into eyebrows though because we need some work. Taking my trusty Anastasia Brow Wiz and I'm going to be using the shade, you know what I can't stand? Look what happens to the packaging. It gets all sorts of cray. I think this is in the shade, oh god, medium ash. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my favorite mascara of the moment, and it's the YSL Baby Doll. It'll be right back. Love this mascara. It makes my lashes look just as fluttery and so pretty. For the lower waterline, I'm going to be using Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Pencil in the shade Nude. Like, dang bad, I forgot to record um, this, but I use NYX Lip Liner in Sand Pink. And for lips today, I'm going to keep them nice and bright, but very easy and perfect for spring. I'm going to be using one of MAC's Patent Lip, no, Patent Polish Lip Pencil in the color Go For Girly. And it's a beautiful pinky coral color. You could stop here and leave the look as it is. It is beautiful and perfect for spring and super easy and light, but I want to put a gloss over this because I can. <laughs> YSL Gloss Volupe Day in number 30. Really with like gold glitter. So this is it. This has been my go-to spring makeup look. Pretty girly, but very light and easy. And a lip color. I've pretty much just been rocking a glossy pink nudie lip. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be back filming. And please stay tuned for more videos to come up. Um, we're going to be talking about makeup dieting and shopping your stash and all sorts of great things. So thank you guys so much. Oh yeah, and I have not forgotten about the makeup collection and storage video. I haven't. Life has been crazy. and But it's okay. No more excuses. I am back, baby. Alright, thank you so much for watching.